Hello, this is Bobby from Propel TV Repair. Uh, with a quick note for uh, repairing particular, I believe, common problem on Samsung PN51D530. A3F is not so important. Uh, I believe once upon a time we made a similar video for a PN51D550 which is very very similar the problem with the TV I'm sorry I cannot show you that <laughs> because we already fixed it uh, but the problem with the TV is when you turn it on it just keeps on clicking click 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 about one uh, one second interval and uh, customer brought it in we open it up uh, first unscrew the screws for the stand then unscrew everything that is around the cover luckily it's a whole lot easier for those uh, later almost latest generation plasmas uh, and then just take the back cover off which is already in place here uh, be careful so that you don't get cut like I just did and taking the back cover off this is what's inside the TV um, let me see if I can get it from far very sorry for the shaky video but I'm not a professional operator and this is done with a phone of course like everybody does these days uh, so the TV keeps on clicking and uh, those two boards they're called the Y sustain or Y main board and on the right side is the Z main board they work together and between them is the panel which they together energize so that you can see a picture as you can see the the X main board or the Z sustain sometimes called does have power through that cable from the Y main board and the Y main board gets through that cable power from the power supply well if your, key, if your TV keeps on clicking um, especially if it's a Samsung or LG what you should do almost regardless of any I mean your plasma TV uh, you should disconnect power from one and then the other board uh, if you can in this case the way to go about it is you just have to unplug this cable here of course TV turned off leave it like that and try to turn on if you turn on the TV and you hear the sound and you don't hear clicking you know that this is the board that's been preventing it from powering on uh, if you don't then the next step is you disconnect this cable here or on either side it will do let's say here and you try and do the same thing of course without any of those two boards there will be no image on the screen and that's normal your goal if your TV original failure symptom is just clicking is try and get it to start by excluding the ports that possibly prevent it from completely starting up and those are the two top candidates in case of this particular TV the problem turned out to be that board the Z sustain or the X main and uh, we repaired it I see they are starting to become harder to find and more expensive which is normal in the TV repair business uh, we ended up not replacing it we ended up repairing it that's that's what we do here Propel TV repair and if you have a hard time finding that board uh, maybe you should check at our website the number on it you can find here a BN96 number is what you're looking for or um, I'm sorry not I'm sorry BN96 number is an official number but it's not going to be printed on the board the number on that board is LJ92-07059 uh, or 1763 depending on whether this is an HD or a non uh, full HD model um, either either case uh, how did we repair it I believe I ended up replacing most of the power transistors that were on the board the uh, sustain and recovery generation transistors you, I can see from here and if, if it's easy to see the solders solder joints on those two those two were replaced uh, I remember two here were replaced maybe the, the second two if memory serves me well one one was rectifier uh, another transistor there was something on 
this side as well and oftentimes on the back side or sometimes at least there are also other other parts that need to be replaced that is all though i hope this is this will help you troubleshoot it's re replacing the components is not exactly walking apart but it's easier than what it used to be on the older boards where they have integrated uh, hybrid modules so uh, somebody with parts available and good experience soldering electronic parts should be able to do that repair by themselves of course if anything else is needed to be replaced on the back of the board like the drivers for those transistors uh, surrounding circuitry burn resistors stuff like that you gotta be able to find out or you risk another failure uh, in the TV hope that all helps I'm sorry I'm not showing you the TV working you wouldn't benefit anything from that uh, you gotta take my word for it it does work that's all good luck